everyone, this is Medicine in 3 Minutes, and today we're going to be talking about polycythemia vera, polymultiple cythemia of blood cells. This is a proliferation of blood cells, so red blood cells, white blood cells, and cotelet. The following little process shows when there is when what happens to the body, sorry, when there is too many blood cells in the body. So uh, there is an increase in red blood cells, and that causes an uh, increase in hematocrit, which is the uh, red blood cell count to volume ratio that causes hyperviscosity, which is when the red blood cells stick uh, together. That is because they don't have as much uh, space to run around it. And that leads to thrombosis, which is the process of blood clotting. This is a condition that is predominant in men aged around 60, so give or take five years. And it's caused by a mutation in a protein called JAK2 kinase, or JAK2 for short. And this mutation happens at this very level of the pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell uh, division. In this diagram, we show over here the red bone marrow, which is where the red blood cells are produced. When the red blood cells are produced, now they go all over the body to uh, transport oxygen. And two very particular organs that we're interested in in this condition are the kidney and the liver, and the kidney more importantly. Now, when there is too many blood cells, the kidney senses that, and it produces erythropoietin. Now, so does the liver, but the kidney produces more of it. And the erythropoietin is a hormone that goes down the bloodstream and gets back to the red bone, uh, to the bone marrow, sorry, and the bone marrow uh, receives that as a uh, signal to produce re uh, less uh, red blood cells. However, if you have polycythemia, the uh, mutation uh, causes a decrease of erythropoietin. So the kidney and the liver still sense an increase or too much blood cells in the body. However, they cannot produce as much erythropoietin and therefore the bone marrow never gets the message and keeps producing uh, too many uh, too many blood cells and that causes a uh, this negative this negative feedback rather right here is never met. Uh, in terms of symptoms, you're looking at pr uh, pruritus, which is on um, itching, especially after uh, showering, nosebleed, uh, splenomegaly, which is an um, enlarged spleen, sometimes up to three times its size, um, ecchymosis, which is uh, the predisposition of developing bruises. So a person, for example, who uh, gets hit uh, by, uh, or hits themselves, sorry, in a doorknob, for example, is uh, more likely uh, to develop an uh, enlarged bruise if they have uh, polycythemia. So diagnosis, um, you'll notice that your hematocrit count is above 45 in a man and above 42 in a woman and your hemoglobin will be above 18.5 if you're a man and above 16.5 if you're a, a woman. Uh, little diagram over here, if you take a blood sample of a person who has a normal uh, red blood count versus a person uh, with uh, polycythemia, you can notice there is way too much um, or there's an increased, sorry, uh, level of uh, red blood cells and a uh, decreased level of uh, plasma uh, in the same volume. And also, uh, let's not forget a decrease in uh, erythropoietin, uh, which is the hormone that uh, both the liver and the kidney uh, secrete uh, for the bone marrow to stop producing uh, red blood cells. Complications. Uh, as you can see over here, there, is, uh, there are four uh, complications. DVT, which is a deep venous thrombosis. Thrombosis is a blood clot. Uh, so uh, the thrombus will travel along um, the vessel and cause a blood clot at a specific um, area. So it could be anywhere along the limbs. Um, PE, which is a pulmonary embolism, a stroke, um, and a TIA. TIA is less severe than a stroke, but alarming nonetheless. Um, treatment. So depending on uh, what you, uh, what case um, you're facing, you can uh, treat. Uh, you can treat it with uh, different uh, treatments. So you can either use aspirin, 
um, hydroxyurea, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and uh, a lobotomy. A lobotomy is when you uh, surgically open the vein and extract uh, the, the thrombus or the blood clot. Not to be confused with a lobotomy, an L-O-B-O-T-O-M-Y, uh, which is a, uh, a brain uh, procedure. That was uh, Medicine in 3 Minutes, and thank you for watching.